Hey, Zion, Merry Christmas uh, to you and the team. Um, so coming off the NC State game, do you feel like that was kind of a wake-up call for the team? You guys had much better ball movement, uh, and the ball just seemed to move from side to side. Um, you know, what's your thoughts on that? And do you take that lesson into Temple and then into SEC play? Yes, definitely. I think the NC game was definitely a wake-up call for us, and it, it just helped us understand what we needed to improve on as a team. And um, I think we did a pretty good job executing that. And uh, for our next game, I think we're going to do the same. Mitch, and then we'll go to Dick Cox. Ten days in between games uh, for you guys. I Obviously, this is just a weird season in totality. Uh, as a competitor, how tough is it to kind of stay focused when you have to wait that long to play games? Or does it kind of just make every game matter more to you guys? Uh, I think this this little break that we had was well needed because we had time to get better. Um, I love times like that where I get to work on my game and, and we all get to get in the gym and, and just work on the things we need to improve on. So the time was well needed and I feel like it's going to show in our game uh, tomorrow. Dick, go ahead and then we'll go to Greg. Last year, Kiki kind of filled the role of being that nasty player that was in controversy and kind of the emotional leader. Who do you see on this year's team that can take that role and kind of get people fired up or get on to your teammates when they're not they're not doing their job? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think we're all that's the role that we're all trying to accomplish. Um, I think I, I'm trying to do a pretty good job at being that person to keep us hyped up. And uh, we all have roles. So we all play our roles, even if it's not the same role Kiki had, you know, it's a different team. So we all play the role that we have. Right. Go ahead. Is, uh, you mentioned kind of using this this break to improve and get better as a team. What have you been focusing on as, as an individual and what has the team been kind of working on in practice? Basically just to not let what happened in NC State ever happen again. Just working on the things that we needed to get done by ball movement, getting things in flow, working together as a team and um, just not, not, not beating ourselves. I honestly feel like we beat ourselves when we play NC State. So we're just trying to get better as a team working together. Nobody ever likes to lose, but do you feel like that loss to NC State maybe took a lot of pressure off of you and the team from the standpoint, you know, all the hype going into the year and all where you look more relaxed as a team in the, the very next game? Uh, I honestly never really have pressure. Um, I, I, I'm only speaking for myself, but I also feel like it was never pressure with my teammates as well. We go out there, we play every team the same way. And sometimes you don't get the results you want, but um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really think so. Matt, go ahead. Going on, as, as I, I, I know that a lot of people are talking about ranking as an observer, as a competitor, and not having one one next year, they might not harm or no. Matt, we can't hear you. You're completely muffled. We can't hear anything you're saying. Oh no. Okay, that's very weird. So I'm muting you, man. If you want to put your question in the chat, we can ask it. <laughs> While we pause. While we wait for Matt's question. Does anybody else have a question for Zai? Keith, go ahead. Hey, Zai. So, uh, you know, how hard is it to focus on this game with uh, Christmas break coming up? And is Christmas break for you guys going back home? Uh, what will the layoff be like? Um, or just update us on what the protocols are, because as we've seen from all around the country, a lot of games are getting canceled due to COVID. So what uh, is in, in store for you and for the team after the game against Temple before you go into conference play? It's definitely to um, make sure that we were um, staying away from people, uh, just being in the house, wearing our masks, just doing everything we need to do to protect ourselves from COVID. And also making sure we're staying in the gym and getting some cardio, some conditioning in. It's mandatory for us to have weight workouts and uh, mandatory for us to get in the gym. So we plan to come come back in, uh, if not better, but exactly where we left off. So that's the plan. Are you guys going home for Christmas and then coming back? Yes. Mitch, go ahead. We'll close it out with you. I don't know if we'll talk to you before then, Zaya, but uh, what would be the uh, perfect Christmas gift in 2020 for Coach Staley? Oh, wow. 
I don't know. I mean, maybe for us to just, I don't know, just win, uh, finish 2020 with a bang and just, I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know. I sh- I'll ask I think, her. I think she'll take that. I'll ask her. I'll ask her. <laughs> All right, Zana, Matt's question um, that you kind of asked earlier is, I know most times you don't care about rankings in December, but does it bother you as a competitor not having that one next to your name? No, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me at all, honestly. I've never really been the type to worry about what other people rank me as or rank our team as, because at the end of the day, we know who we are, and uh, the rankings really don't mean much to me because the number one team could could lose, you know? So I, I don't really pay attention to those type of things.